Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Philo Notes. This edition of our daily whiteboard is a continuation to our discussion on the topic symbolizing propositions in symbolic logic. Now, let's analyze and symbolize example number three. Suppose we have this proposition. Neither Lucas is hardworking, nor is he intelligent. P. Q. This example is obviously an inclusive disjunction. Hence, we may initially symbolize the proposition as P or Q. However, the words neither nor is a signifier of a negation, and these words suggest that the entire proposition is negated. Thus, we finally symbolize the proposition neither Lucas is hardworking nor is he intelligent as not P or Q. Now, please note that not P or Q is not the same with not P or not Q. And not P or not Q is not the proper symbol of this example because the words neither nor suggest that the proposition has to be completely negated. And as we learned in the previous edition titled Punctuating Propositions in Symbolic Logic, when the proposition is completely negated, then the entire proposition has to be punctuated. But let me explain why not P or Q is not the same with not P or not Q. If we recall, one of the rules in inclusive disjunction says that the inclusive disjunction is true if at least one of the disjuncts is true. With this, let us determine the truth value of not P or Q and not P or not Q to prove that they are not the same. Let us assign the truth value true for P and false for Q. And so, in the symbol not P or Q, if P is true and Q is false, then P or Q is true, according to the rule in inclusive disjunction. But since the entire proposition has to be completely negated, thus, not P or Q becomes false. However, in the symbol not P or not Q, both disjuncts are negated, but not the entire proposition. So that if P is true, then not P is false. And if Q is false, then not Q is true. Thus the symbol not P or not Q is true. Thus at the end of it all, the proper symbol for the proposition neither Lucas is hardworking nor is he intelligent is not P or Q. Alright, that's it for today. Thanks for joining me today in this edition of our daily whiteboard here at Philo Notes as we try to make the understanding of philosophy incredibly easy. Keep looking forward to our series of editions on the topic symbolic logic. And I hope you find this material helpful. And if you do, feel free to subscribe. Thanks. Take care.